walk in the hallways, everyone says, hello and you don't see it but you can feel that they're smiling like hi everyone welcome back to my channel so welcome back um if you're new here hello my name is nurse kathiana on this channel we talk all about nursing like everything nursing in an open and honest environment and we also inspire and motivate those who think they can't to do it so in today's video I'll be doing a new job update which I know I know I know I know a lot of people I had did a poll on IG follow me on IG nurse Tatiana if you haven't and like it was literally this video request blew the other one out the water I am going to be doing a one-year nursing update as well but this one is first because this is what you guys wanted so I bet you guys are wondering probably not but I'm gonna tell you anyways about these purple like beautiful for the chocolate melanin scrubs okay so these beautiful purple scrubs are from we thank you dot m e so they went and reached out to me and they wanted me to do a review about these scrubs and you guys know i'm all about affordability so their scrub sets only cost 38 i'll say with tax 45 dollars that's not bad i just recently went out because i had to get some new scrubs um you know i had to get some scrubs and it was like 60 like a hundred dollars like who got time for that the motto is helping those who help the most and i really appreciate that because mr apollon the owner who is a veteran who is black who is a haitian you know whoop, whoop, okay so he went and interviewed thousands of nurses, asked what the favorite things about scrubs are, and made some scrubs for them. And I really like them. These are very comfortable, wrinkle-free, so many pockets. I'm going to be putting in a video here of what they look like and a couple pictures here and there, you know? And I really appreciate them. So go follow them on Instagram at we thank you, you with the letter U underscore scrubs i'll leave it here and also go check out their website we thank you dot m e for their affordable scrub set like they have so if you guys are new to my channel let me give you a little something about me so i was an lpn for three years i've worked everywhere sniff rehab independent living home care everywhere then i went and got my rn and i'm one year post rn i went and i committed to a new grad residency for three years I didn't finish the three years I got out and now I owe like some money to this hospital that I'm not. whatever so now I work somewhere else and this hospital is one of the top hospitals in South Florida where I live and I love it like I'm I love it, but I don't want to say I love it too soon because, you know, it would be lying because in a month I could be like, damn, I hate it. Because, you know, everything looks good, sounds good, seems good, but then you get into the real, the realness of the job after you're there for some time and then you're like, mm, this ain't really what y'all sold me. But so far, I'm very, very happy at my job. So let me tell you some stuff about it. So I'm going to have up to... Typically, most days you get four to five patients, but you do get six sometimes, uh, which is not bad because my old job had six patients in the daytime. I also am going to be working days. Prior, I worked nights, and I, I can't do nights. I'm not a night person. I won't ever be a night person, I don't think. Yes, the money is nice, but I like to sleep in my bed at night, okay? So, what else? Uh, we have EMU patients so basically my floor is like an epilepsy monitoring patient where people can come and get their you know some testing for um, why their medication is not working because if you're having seizures your medication is not working so they come to my floor and we basically they're under trial so they have something called sleep studies um, sleep protocol where you don't let the pe patient sleep from um, 4 p.m. To 4 a.m. and then you wake them up and then you're trying to trigger a seizure and so I think that's really really cool like that room is monitored under camera you go in you see your patient with like all these leads on their head and you know it's just something different I have never dealt with anything like this before because you know I'm just a telly nurse but I think it's really cool that they do that um one con is that they don't actually have telly Techs 
on the floor so at my old job they have it had switched it from you know the monitoring room to on the floor that was a positive that I think my job did uh, this hospital doesn't have that so you have one teletech for the whole building then um, you also have a oh, um, um, out-of-state people monitoring at the you know main campus and so they can call you or the teletech at the hospital can call you as well but basically you're monitoring your patient as well so that's kind of a con don't really like that but the way they made it is so like high tech like you can go in the patient's chart and you can press on a button and it'll pop up the monitor on the computer like what so that's pretty cool um we don't write orders we have fellows we have residents we don't write no orders in the computer. We don't take any verbal orders. We don't write any orders other than a diet order. So the doctors and the nurse practitioners and the residents put their own orders in, which I respect and I love because it puts back the responsibility off of us and onto them. So if there's an error, it's on them, right? So I really respect that. And I like that because, you know, it kind of gives us nurses some other things to think about. We can suggest stuff, we can recommend stuff, but we can't put in the orders at all by ourselves. What else? So the computers are in the room. The scanners are in the room. I like that. Uh, I used to push around this huge wow. I'll put a picture if I can find one online. Um, we don't need to do that because all the computers are in the room and all the scanners are in the room. So that that's nice too. Um, I'm definitely using a new system. I'm using Epic. I used to use Cerner and I really like Ep um, Epic so far. It's pretty self-explanatory. Like if I was a traveler and I only had like two days orientation or one day orientation, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not too hard. I can customize it to the way I like, which I really like. <sighs> like I kind of feel happy. Like I think I might like it there. Um, there's a thing called smart phases. So the smart phrases, you they're legal and you can use them and it's like a pre-written um, note, nursing note. So when I come in to give report, it's like a pre-written smart phrase that I can use and I can just edit it and put in the nurse's name and all that. So I really like that. Like there's just so much things. And like you walk in the hallways, everyone says, hello and you don't see it but you can feel that they're smiling like what what i digress but i feel good i feel really good i'm happy that i'm there i wish you know my orientation was a little shorter you know but it's okay because i feel like they really take into account that they want you to be the best nurse that can be and they can't like you can't say like you're not ready because even though i am an experienced nurse there's a lot of new things that are coming into play and i really like that so i'm excited i'm excited to see where this job takes me i don't know i'm not under contract so i'm not committing to anybody right now but i'm excited i feel like i'm going to learn a lot a lot a lot of things there and i feel like I can actually be involved like join a committee or something and I don't know I feel good I feel like good everyone on the floor is very nice oh guys my first day of work first day of work we had three code blues two rapids all on the same patient I had a code gray on another patient like I was like what is this and then my second day we had a stroke alarm that went off and my, we had to like run to the patient's room and do assessment. It's exciting. It's exciting. You know, the first day I was like very scared, very apprehensive. I'm like, am I sure I want to stay here? But the second day I'm like, okay, I feel like I could get used to this. So if you guys have any specific questions, you can leave them down below. I really hope you guys like this little, little review so far of how i feel about my new job and um follow me on instagram subscribe if you haven't to follow me on this journey and until next time bye guys